here's my top picks this week in AI and some really, really crazy news. The first one is Gigabrain. And I love this so much because this is real world useful. A lot of AI tools are just fluff and I'm a business owner. I'm looking for things that are actually gonna help my business and my life. And Gigabrain saves a lot of time, something I'm gonna use all the time now. It searches Reddit. Reddit is a community forum. So many questions, so many answers, so many great information. And here you can just see what's the best video editing tool for AI. And it searches through the entire form, breaks it down into bullet points. And here's the coolest part. Here's all the threads. And you can see here, there's 12 replies in this thread. What video editing software are YouTubers using nowadays? I can just click summarize and it's gonna give me all the bullet points. It's gonna save me so much time. I'm using this every single day in my research. Next, I wanna talk about GPTs. Now, I use ChatGPT4 as an experiment to grow the AI surfer. We have 275 some thousand people on social media now, all within one year from an experiment using ChatGPT that worked phenomenally. So I love ChatGPT, but there's a new king on the hill and it's Claude by Anthropic. And you can see here that basically Claude is showing that it's better than GPT-4 in a lot of these benchmarks. Now, honestly, I've been using Advanced Gemini. It's $20 a month. For two months, you get it free. So if just try it, put your reminder two months out in the future, just cancel it when it comes up if you don't like it. I think it's worth a go, even though they're having problems right now. If this is version one, even if they have to rebuild their entire system, I like where it's going with the search of Google in a conversation. You can see here, I said, I can't figure out how to delete OBS plugin on my MacBook. I'm trying to use this program to stream. It's a big learning curve for me, but I had an issue and I solved it within seconds using Gemini rather than thumbing around websites and getting frustrated. I love this and it can code. And here's a side note. I think the future of programming is no code. The language of programming is going to be the human language, and this shows that. I can code in this. It just takes me a little longer right now, but eventually it's going to get better. And I don't know how to code, but I'm coding things right now in Google Sheets that I can work with my money, my way, and it's awesome. I'm using AI for this. But you can see here, this is Google Trends. ChatGPT is still king of the people. In terms of popularity, it's the blue lines against Gemini and Claude. So I think GPT, chat GPT is still obviously the clear winner in popularity. If you've been following me for the last year, I've been saying that AI and healthcare is gonna revolutionize just everything, totally disrupted. And you can see it happening. AI can predict Alzheimer's disease up to seven years before symptoms appear. This is amazing. You can see right here, this is the first step towards using AI on routine clinical data, not only to identify risk as early as possible, but also to understand the biology behind it. Let's talk in one year from now. I promise you it's going to be a different conversation in terms of healthcare and just overall medical advice. This is so interesting. Everything's interesting, but this I love because it's, again, it's real world usefulness. This is Klarna. Basically, they're the first people that came out with the buy now, pay later program. They've been using AI for their customer service. It handles two thirds of our customer service inquiries on par with humans on customer satisfaction. It performs the equivalent of 700 full time agents. 700 people just got fired. That's what basically he's saying, honestly. And here's the thing, AI is not going anywhere. It's only gonna get better. And as business owners, we look for things like this. We want real time data. We want accuracy. We want things that don't sleep. We want multilingual. And I can tell you this because this is my company. We built our own chat bot for our water filtration system. You can see it over here. I basically just said, hey, when is my next filter renewal and how much? It answered me immediately. It broke it down in tax and shipping. And I can have a conversation with this without needing to call somebody. And calling somebody is definitely gonna be the next iteration of AI and chatbots. And you can even see our friends here at DID are bringing in the avatars inside their chats. Now, right now there's an issue with this. And the issue is you type a message, 
well, you got to wait because there's a lag. You're going to twiddle your thumbs waiting for a response and it's just not the best experience right now. But that's what AI is. We've had AI for decades. The only reason that we have it now is because computing power has caught up, allowing us to run these large language models. And right now, there's a lag, but there's a company literally today fixing this called Grok, G-R-O-Q, and they're working on more real-time interactions with AI and hardware, and they're doing some amazing things. They're already proving themselves. So in the very near, near future, here's your, ch your customer chatbot service agent that you're gonna be able to talk to. Now, this one's really interesting. It's called Microsoft Copilot Finance. It's for your bookkeeping, your accounting. I love this because I don't understand any of this stuff, but I wanna know it. And it's easy for me to talk to a chatbot and get my numbers, figure out my cash flow. And that's what I love about AI. That's the future. Click of a button, simple. I'm all in for that. So you can check this out. I'm putting all the links down below. This is Ideogram. <laughs> this is so amazing. I just generated these. I'm seeing these for the first time. I'm loving this so much. And honestly, here's the thing. In 2024, grabbing attention is going to be the most powerful thing for you in your business. If you can get attention and eyeballs, well, then you can direct those eyeballs to basically any business you want. And there's no better way than using AI. I mean, I just typed in a prompt. You can see my prompt up here and it created this awesome, awesome art. Now, this version of Ideogram is new. It's 1.0 and the upgrade is on text on images. And AI is notoriously bad for text on images. But now you can see it's kind of kicking butt. I mean, these are awesome. Look at that. That is so cool. If you follow the AI surfer on social media, you will definitely, definitely be seeing this. So if you didn't know, we're a community of surfers learning to ride the wave together. And I'll just go over this real quick. We have 629 members right now and we have forums. We do class projects. Like I can just type in class project. You can see that here. This is our most recent class project. We're making these little 32 bit characters and you can see everybody's doing the homework making their little characters, which is so awesome. We're gonna create a banner. Inside the school, we also have all our classrooms. Here are, here's our AI social growth system. I locked myself in a room in Amsterdam, literally flew there to map this out step by step. This is what I do to grow on social media. It has all the prompts, it has everything. We have live calls every single Monday. We have breakout calls. We're having calls with ClickUp. We have an amazing partnership and collaboration with ClickUp, which is a $4 billion task management, project management tool just for our members. It's amazing. If you're a business owner, if you're an entrepreneur, you're looking to ride this AI wave, come surf it with us. We're doing this every single day with a bunch of like-minded people. Okay, so this next section is probably my favorite. From here to here, we're gonna talk about how AI is just ripping a hole through hollywood and i love it and i'll tell you why because one i'm a musician and i saw how music changed from like capital records and big buildings into the bedroom where people are writing like hit records from their bedroom and i just see that happening now with hollywood and videos and film and tyler perry sees it too 800 million dollar studio expansion on halt because of open ai's sora if you haven't seen sora just type in Sora, go check it out. Your mind is gonna be blown. Everybody's mind is blown when they see this. And now we're just gonna go down the rabbit hole of why RIP Hollywood, because check this out. This is just released by Pika. Oh my God. I'll be damned. Is this real? Pika now supports lip sync. And it is truly spectacular. <laughs> It truly is spectacular. I mean, this is text to video, image to video, and now we're able to do lip sync. I mean, we're gonna be able to create movies and I'm gonna show you something that's gonna blow your mind. This is a tool by Emo. It's not out yet, but it's coming. And surprisingly, it's by Alibaba. Everybody's getting into this game. I, it seems like it's seriously every company. Alibaba came out with this and it's mind blowing. Let's watch it. It's turning a picture to lip sync. Yeah, I think this is right now an inflection point where we're sort of 
you know, redefining how we interact with with uh, digital information. That is un incredible, honestly. And check this out. This is this this blew my mind the first time I saw this. Making pictures sing. We were gone. Can the dream they can be so? <laughs> Oh man, I love that so much. I mean, just endless creativity. This is a tool called Runway ML. It's image to video, text to video. Again, they just came out with this feature where you can literally just highlight portions of a picture. Like I highlighted the, the hair here and you can just animate the hair. This stuff is getting so easy. This is Domo. If you check out Domo, here's a video and they turned it into a cartoon. Here's a guy playing baseball. They stylize it into pixel art. And it's just incredible how much artistic ability we're gonna have with these AI tools. Here's another tool called Morph. You can join the waitlist. I'll put all the links down below, but let's just watch this video. With an easy to use storyboard format, you can easily create and edit shots together based on text or images and generate videos in different styles. So it's just getting easier and easier and I can just keep going down the rabbit hole. This is LTX Studio. Again, you can join the waitlist, link down below. Get on all these because they're all gonna be so much fun and so amazing. And again, the theme is attention in 2024 with AI. This is an amazing thing too. With your iPhone, literally everybody knows how to shoot from an iPhone and you can just shoot a video of yourself and it's gonna map a 3D model and think avatar, CGI. I mean, you're gonna be able to create this kind of stuff just from your iPhone, just knowing what buttons to click. And that is the beauty of AI. It's like, it's just amplifying our ability to be creative because the technological barrier is being broken down. I love that so much. And this video is hilarious. I think this sums up everything. Check this out. Hi, it's me. Jennifer Lopez, Chief Celebration Officer of Virgin Voyages, here to invite you to celebrate. So come. Celebrate your anniversary, your birthday, or just generally being fabulous. Really, Kyle? It's good, right? Gen AI is supposed to be inviting people to Virgin Voyages, not doing whatever that was. You know, just give me that. I think that's so funny, but that's how easy it's going to be to make like think avatar again these these movies these films like hollywood is coming to our, our bedroom and adobe is even coming out with the ability to do the music check this out i can uh take an input melody that sounds like this and then you can generate the accompaniment in this case some some film music you can even do crescendos like when you need to increase the intensity. The ability to create and be creative is just becoming so fun. If you want to go see an AI film, it's out. Go check it out. Play the, play the trailer. You can go to Hollywood and watch it. This is coming to theaters to you, made from bedrooms. Honestly, this is disrupting everything. I just want to leave you on this. This is Genie. Uh, the reason I want to leave you on this is because I think this gives us a glimpse into the future. Genie is basically the ability to take a screenshot and turn it into an interactive game or basically create a game with text that you can actually play. Now, the future of that is this. Think about you're watching your favorite Star Wars episode and it ends and you're bummed and you say, hey, I wish there was 15 more minutes of that and you say, hey, AI, expand it, fill in the frames, fill in the scene, make it happen, and the AI does that. So uh, I think we're living on the greatest platform shift of our entire life, and the wave is here, and I think it's really fun, and it's amazing, and if you're in business, I would say join us. Let's learn to ride this AI wave together as a community because honestly, there's more than enough room for everybody to make some money here. So, peace.